My name is Terrence Taylor, and coming out of Georgia, I'm already considered being the best pass rusher, and I haven't even played a game yet. But since the Giants' D-line obviously can't create pressure, they decided to go ahead and pick me up in the NFL draft, and I'm expected to be the best already. Man, this feel like deja vu. First game of the season, playing against the Cowboys, and we already sitting the blitz at deck. Isaiah Simmons, his first NFL game as a Giant, getting a sack. Then on third and five, coming off the edge, going to the left, juking into the right, almost getting a sack, but Dak Prescott threw that ball deep down the field, and it's getting deflected by Deontay Banks. That rookie is cold. Offense end up scoring well, 7-0. They're trying to run the ball with Tony Pollard, but that boy Dexter Lawrence is getting back there, getting the tackle for loss. Then on third down, Dak is trying to get this ball to the first down, getting it to his running back, but there's too many defenders around, making him drop the ball. And there go Tay Banks again. If there's one thing about me, anytime I got the opportunity to hit this somebody, I'm going to hit the life out of him. Tony Pollard fumbled the ball. It bounced up in the air, and they end up getting the ball back. They got lucky. Then on second and 10, I faked like I was pass rushing. I tried to come out and catch this pick on this tight end, but he ended up catching the ball third down. Third down, and I know this right tackle cannot go at me. Bull rushing his ass and getting my first sack of my career. Up 14-0, and the second quarter is coming to an end, so they're just hurrying up offense right now, throwing some dots, trying to get down the field. First and 10, Dak trying to drop back in the pocket and deliver this dot to the tight end, but Isaiah Simmons is on that, making him drop that ball. Then on second down, damn near all of us got off the block. I'm bull rushing my nigga Dex getting off and Kayvon, and he has to throw this ball out of bounds. Third and 10, I'm swim moving to the left on that man and getting another sack on Dak. He tried to run away from me, you're not running. Alright, now third quarter, still up 14 0, and this time Dak is finding Tony Pollard down the field. Burnt every single nigga. He scores a touchdown. Alright, now offense is starting to get locked up a little bit, so we gotta get a big stop, and we making them drop that ball. Great defense. It's third down. We throwing out a blitz, and they try to do a screen play, and obviously that shit did not work. Great blitz. I mean, so it look like right now, offense just can't move at all. They got the ball right back. They're trying to get that first down, but our DBs right now, they're playing amazing. This is a very big play. Third and 10. I'm speed rushing past that tackle and getting another sack. That's about three sacks in this game already. All right, man. Thankfully, offense scored this time. We're up 21 to 7 in the fourth quarter, and we get another deflection. Then on second and 10, Dak tries to get this ball to his tight end for a first down. And guess who it is again? Tay Banks locking up. Then on third and 10, I'm not going to lie, Dak is just terrible. There's no reason why he should have inaccurately threw that curl route. That's fourth down now, though. Now it's fourth down. If they do not get this game, it's basically over with. But Dak throws the ball down the field. And of course, who do you think caught that ball? CD motherfucking Lamb. First down. So now they're in the red zone. I'm trying to bull rush this tackle. He's not letting me. I'm still getting past him, though. Hitting Dak almost. He has to throw the ball out of bounds. Then on third and four, they run the ball, but they know not to run to my side. I try to get that tackle. I'm not able to get it. We just got the bend, don't break. First and goal, CeeDee Lamb on a slant, and he catches their second touchdown. It's a one-score game now. Offense, we just need y'all to go ahead and kill the clock, please. They did indeed kill clock, but the Cowboys got the ball. No timeouts, a minute left, and he's throwing his dot. Good tackle, keeping them in bounds. Now, at this point, they got to run Harry up offense, and Dak ends up finding a receiver open in the middle of the field, getting another first down. But then on first and 10, finally, we get some good defense. I'm coming off the edge and hitting Dak, but he threw the ball before I got it. I would have had a sack. But if I want some, I'm going to go get it. Getting past this old lineman and Dak trying to run away. My nigga, I am too fast. Give me that sack. And they got no choice but to hurry up. And I'm honestly locked up on this play. But guess who comes through in the clutch? Kayvon Thibodeau gets a sack. And that's about game. What an amazing NFL debut for me. We went 21-14. This was a crazy game. And my NFL debut got four sacks, six tackles for loss, six tackles, a forced fumble. Kayvon in this game had a good sack. Isaiah Simmons had a sack. And Deontay Banks was locking shit up too. And now we're in the game against the Cardinals who don't have Kyler Murray. They don't really have too much talent at all. So this game should not be as hard as the Cowboys game was, honestly. Second and one, they running the ball and they're getting amazing blocks. I could not get to him. I'm stuck by fucking d lineman, and we finally get him down. I want to hit, I want to strip him or something. I, I need to do something else. 
First and ten, trying to bull rush this tackle. I'm not able to get past him, but that's Lawrence is getting a bull rush, getting a big sack. Second and fifteen, getting past this nigga with a speed rush and getting a sack. Now it's third and 22. Our pass rush is amazing. Dexter Lawrence is double team, still getting out, but we cannot catch up to the quarterback. He'll throw the ball out of bounds. Playing the flats on second and four, and here they're running the ball, and I'm getting a big hit stick. I need that fumble, though. Then on third and run, I'm getting a swim move past him to the right, and he got scared of me a little bit. Ran out to the other side and got sacked. First and 10, trying to get to the outside of this tackle. Not able to, but Dexter Lawrence, oh my God, just bullied that nigga. Getting another sack. Only up 7-3 after all the stops we didn't got. In the third quarter now on first and 10, they're trying to run the ball. We on that shit. For some reason, coach sat me here on this third and three, and they end up getting thrown a dot, getting the first down. Second and three, and they're trying to run the ball. I'm getting past the old line, trying to hit stick the running back, but sometimes my aggressiveness gets the best of me. I need to start doing normal tackles. Third and two, they're trying to run the ball, and we are stuffing that run. They are short by one yard. They decided to run the ball out of shotgun on fourth and one, and I could not get the right angle to tackle him behind the line. They end up getting the first down. Second and 11, I'm bull rushing this tackle, trying to get to the quarterback, and they're throwing another dot, getting another first down. We're going to have to lock in because if they score, we're going to have to score back. Then on first and 10, he's throwing a slant, and finally, a linebacker hits the receiver, and he ends up dropping the ball. And then finally, I knew it would eventually happen on second and 10, throwing a pick to a Dory fucking Jackson. Let's go. This was a very, very defense game. We only won 7-3. Offense got to do way better. The Cardinals are not that good. That boy Dexter Lawrence went crazy this game. Two sacks, two tackles for loss, three tackles. And I'm a little bit down. Now, so I had a sack though in this game with a tackle for loss, three tackles. And Deontay Banks locked up once again. After having a pretty good first two games, we're playing against the 49ers who we know are going to run the ball. We just got to be able to stop it. Third down, they're running a the screen play. I'm engaged with a block, but I came off the block for one second to catch this pick, my first pick of my career. Catching that pick on this side of the field gave offense an easy chance to get a touchdown. So we're up 7-0. They run running the ball to the outside, getting the first down and more. Second down, they're running the play action. And good thing our D-line got off that line fast because there was people that was going to be open on that play action. Third down. Then on third and six, I'm rushing. Nobody blocked me at all, and I come free with my easy first sack of the game. Still 7-0 in the second quarter, and we're trying to get this safety, but we're missing tackles and CMC way too quick, way too fast. That boy's just too cold. He burns everybody and scores a 99-yard fucking touchdown. That's crazy. And their defense is so good. Our offense can't score no more right now, so we just got to lock in. We have to stop their run because that's the only thing that's really keeping them in the game. We got to stop it. Third and one. They're running the ball trying to get the first down on the other side of the field. Our DB gets broken, but Kayvon Thibodeau comes through, gets the tackle for loss. Let's fucking go. Yeah, man, right now our offense just can't do anything, but we're sending a big blitz, getting back there, getting a big sack. Second and 20 now. And then after getting that big sack, my dumbass was standing on the line of scrimmage when the ball was high. So I ended up getting a neutral zone infraction. So even though we played great defense, they end up replaying second down and they get five yards. So it's going to be second and 15. Offside, same shit. What would have been third down is now second and 15, and Brock Purdy's throwing his ball to the flats, getting a little bit of yards, third and seven now. Then on third and seven, they do something real small. I'm trying to speed rush, but Christian McCaffrey comes in and helps the little block, so I was off time, and, and he throws it down for a first down. Third and six now, damn that halfway of the field, and the Dory Jackson making that receiver drop the ball, fourth down, they're going to have to punt that. Third quarter now, we're up seven points, and I get my second offsides of the game. I don't know. I'm getting a little jumpy. I'm trying to get some sacks, man. Leave me alone. 
Second and one. They're running the ball, and they're smart to double-team me because I would have got there. But good thing my teammates were there to help getting the big tackle. Third and one. Then on third and one, I don't know what got into their quarterback. I don't know why he threw this little flat like Chris McCaffrey was going to juice somebody, but he did not. That's a big tackle. Tackle for loss, fourth and six. Still only 14 to seven in the fourth quarter, and Brock Purdy trying to throw this ball down the field to his tight end, and it's incomplete. Great defense from the DB. Third and nine, Brock Purdy steps back. He's taking way too long to decide if he want to throw this ball. Pass rush got to him. He got to throw that ball out of bounds. Offense did not score bad. At least they got them backed up. And this time, we cannot allow a 99-yard touchdown. We're getting back there making a tackle. And then when we thought we had them all locked up and figured out on third down, he throws his dot for a big first down, getting them down the field. They finally starting to build up a little bit of momentum on first and 10, almost getting this ball complete, but that ball is a little bit too much overthrown. But then on second and 10, finally coming off the edge, swimming inside and getting a big sack. He fumbled, but we was not able to pick the ball up. And now on third and 21, coach put me in the flat to just go ahead and drop all the way back to make sure they don't get the first down. They throwing it down the field, deep and making a big play on the ball. Fourth and 21, they got to go for it too. Fourth and 21, and tell me out of all things they could have done, they decide to try to run a screen play like that was going to work. This game's over. I still don't understand why they didn't, they didn't go for a Hail Mary at least. We went by seven points. And this game was crazy. A pick, two sacks, two tackles for loss, and three tackles. Just went crazy. Now in a week four matchup against the Seahawks, and they're trying to run the ball. I'm trying to bring him back behind the line of scrimmage. Then on third and seven, I'm on pass rush, but I come out just to try to guard the flat so he has nobody to throw the ball to. Everybody was on his ass. He threw the ball out of bounds. Offense gave the ball right back, and on third and four, I'm trying to pass, but I come back out, and my dumb ass pushed him forward into the first down. He would probably got it anyway if I didn't come through. Second and five, and nobody blocked me on this play, so I thought I had an easy save, but instead he threw the ball, almost got the first, but Deontay Banks is on that. Now on third and five, Geno stepping back in the pocket, trying to throw a first down dot, but this time Xavier McKinney is on that, locking that up. It's fourth and five, and they decided to go for it here on fourth down, and that ball honestly should have been picked up by Isaiah Simmons, but at least we locked him up anyway. Offense scored, well, seven to zero. They're trying to run the ball. I can't get off the block because I'm double teamed. Teams, gonna, teams are probably going to spam double teams against me. I got to just learn how to get through it. Second down, I did a swim move to the inside, but I got caught on Leonard Williams, so Gino got to run outside the pocket, throw a dot, a little bit of yards. Now, at this point, they're just running a hurry-up offense. It's the end of the second quarter, third and five. I'm getting past this old lineman, bull rushing him, getting a big sack. I don't know how, but offense found a way to give them the ball back in the second quarter, so they still have a chance to go get some points. But they're hurrying up, and Kayvon bull rushes the O-line on third down, getting a big sack, and we calling this timeout because we getting this ball back. Still only up 7-0 in the third quarter, and Geno's throwing this ball directly to Isaiah Simmons. That boy was just standing there waiting for the ball to get to him. Finally got him a pick. All right, now we momentumalizing. We up 10-0, to second and 11. I'm hit-sticking that running back. He not going nowhere. Third and seven. The way we're playing right now, if we get this stop right here, we have all the trust in offense to get the touchdown, but we end up allowing the first down. That's not going to happen too many times. I ain't going to lie, on this play, they definitely caught us off guard with a read option with Geno Smith, but you're not getting nowhere. He's too slow. We really should have made him fumble, honestly. Second down, trying to swim past the right tackle. As soon as I got loose, Geno throws the ball out of bounds. It's third down now. Third and eight, and I'm speed rushing past this left tackle, hitting Geno, almost getting that sack, but he threw that ball out perfectly. Up 17 now, we got all the momentum. They can't do nothing on us right now, but they finally getting a little first down. We only got three people on the D-line this time. I'm getting double teamed, but I still found a way to get through, but it took me a little bit too long. Geno's throwing a very inaccurate pass, though. Third down. Then here on third and 10, I'm speed rushing past the right tackle, getting there, hitting the quarterback with Kayvon. I, don't, I ain't going to lie. He kind of took half of it. Out here on fourth and very long, getting past this double team, Dexter getting past his nigga, but Geno threw the ball down the field and it's incomplete. And we get the ball down there already. Might be over. We're up 24 to zero, but we're not done. Swimming past that tackle and I'm getting another sack. But 
But hey, man, I'm still hungry for more sacks. Fourth and 15, almost getting there. I had to miss the tackle on purpose just so that I wouldn't get hit with a unnecessary roughness or roughing the passer. It just seemed like they can't do nothing right at all. Geno throwing a pick to my boy Adoree Jackson. That's his second pick of the season, I'm pretty sure. What a fucking game. We just shut these niggas out. We went 31-0. to zero. I went crazy once again. Two and a half sacks, four tackles for loss, and seven tackles. In week five against the Dolphins, a very dangerous offense. I'm going to tight end and man, and I'm normally not in man, and I have to hit stick him, try to make him fumble, but he does not. But on this play, Leonard Williams, one of our best defensive tackles, ends up getting injured, which is terrible. And not only do they have fast-ass receivers, they have fast-ass running backs. And this rookie running back right here is fast as hell. We have to catch up to him. Luckily, we had safeties back there and everybody to catch him before he scored that touchdown. If it's one thing about Tua, sometimes he can't see. I'm engaged with a block. I come out of it and catch a pick. Tell me how I caught a pick over here, but they end up over. Did we fumble or something? I this is crazy. Now we got to stop them again. I mean, they're already at goal line. They get a wide open tight end, easy touchdown. I mean, offense is tripping right now. I'm getting double teamed so I cannot come off the block. To help stop the run, they end up getting the first down. They're running the ball to the left side, and they're lucky that wasn't a play action. I would have killed that quarterback, but good thing our defense was back there. Cave on with a tackle for loss. Second and 12, I'm doing a swim move to the inside and Tua is throwing this ball at his teammate's helmet. His teammate couldn't even turn around and look at the ball. Now it's third down, I'm easily getting past this offensive tackle and hitting the quarterback, getting half a sack, sharing it with my teammate. Offense actually scored this time and Jalen Waddle is wide open down the field but Tua completely overthrew him. How do you overthrow a speed demon like that? And then on second and 10, back to back plays, he throws his ball to a corner out to Tyreek Hill, and it's also overthrown out of bounds. Now on third and 10, they're trying to do a little trick play, a little fake jet sweep, but Dexter Lawrence knew exactly what was going on, getting a big tackle for loss. I don't know what they was thinking, doing about the same play two times in a row, but this time they actually handed off to the jet sweep, and I'm tackling for loss. I don't know how they fucked up this third and four open slants, and somehow the ball was incomplete. I, that was that sad. They're doing another jet sweep with Tyreek Hill. I'm hit sticking him, making him fumble, and we got the ball on their side of the field all fucking ready. Now a two score game, second and ten. I'm getting through the double team, chasing two, and he's throwing this ball out of bounds. Third and ten, and two is trying to get this ball to his tight end, but that DB was playing great defense, knocked that ball out. Fourth and ten, I'm getting double teamed, so I decided to just run away from the pass rush, try to probably catch a little pick, but Tua throws this ball up, and that ball's being deflected. First and ten, we're up 24 to seven, and Tua's trying to fit this ball in somewhere, but guess who's locking that up? Deontay Baines. Third and ten, me and Kayvon coming off the edge. He hit him first, and I end up hitting the ball out, so that's a strip sack fumble, Some I don't even know, but we do not have the ball. Now on 4th and 14, Tua is trying to fit this ball in somewhere he cannot fit it in and it's getting deflected. Our ball already on this side. QB's going to learn not to test Deontay Baines. He don't really catch picks, but he be locking shit up. I, don't, I haven't seen him allow a catch yet, honestly. And then again, like I said, I haven't seen him allow a catch, honestly. He deflects another ball. You can't do that, Tua. All the deflections Tay Banks is getting, I'd love to see him catch a pick, but here Adoy Jackson catches another pick on third and ten. Now here on second and two, I'm getting double team. I almost get through it, but two ends up throwing a pick. And the thing is, I was getting held too, so hey, it didn't even really matter. The game's over with. We win this game in a blowout, 27-7. Now boy Kayvon had a sack, two tags for loss. In this game, I had a pick, a half a sack, three tackles for loss, six tackles. Pretty good game. Now we're playing the Bills. They starting off running to my side. I'm hit sticking they running back, and that ball went flying in the air, and we getting that ball already on their side of the field. This should be an easy score. Offense end up only getting three points, and on second down, I'm coming off the edge, and Josh Allen cannot get this ball to the flat. It's locked up. On third and four, I tried to bull rush this tackle, but they ended up double teaming me with the running back. I tried to jump for some reason. I fell on the ground. This lineman just stayed on top of me, and Josh Allen eventually found Stephon Diggs wide open, getting all the way down the field. 
Now they're in the red zone. I'm speed rushing past this tackle, and Josh Allen tries to get that ball to his tight end. It's incomplete. Deontay Banks, he should be locking shit up. Running the ball on this side, they decide to run the ball to the other side, but Dexter Lawrence is getting back there, getting a big tackle for loss. Then on the next play, they try to run a screen play, but we are all over that. If he threw that ball, I was picking that and taking it all the way on for six. Great defense. They end up getting a field goal and that defense stopped our offense, so it's a tie game and Josh Allen's throwing a dot over the top, getting a big first down. First and 10, doing a swim move to the inside, getting past off the tackle, hitting Josh Allen still. I did not care. They could have gave me a rough in the passer. I did not care. I need a sack. This time I'm doing a swim move to the outside, getting to Josh Allen, getting my sack. Third and very long, bull rushing the tackle, and I kind of accidentally got a rough in the passer card. Like, my momentum just kind of moved me into him. You know, it happens. Guarding the flats, and I don't think he understands. I know how to play defense. Give me that pick, and I'm taking this shit for six. He was not catching me. Of 10 to 3 now, they're running another screen play. I'm on this shit, and he throws it into the ground because I was going to get another pick six. Just throw it to me, please. Now on third and 10, they're trying to run the ball on third down, and we're just getting this stop. They're going to have to punt the ball. We got enough time to get some more points before half. They got ball back, and they're trying to run another screen play, and he just keeps throwing the ball into the ground. Just give me the ball, please. The Bills really couldn't get nothing done on offense this game yet until on third and ten, he sees Stephon Diggs down the field scoring the touchdown. Offense responded on a first and ten. I'm coming off the edge, and the running back came through at the perfect time. I was finna hit the shit out of Josh Allen. I ain't gonna lie. By the way, that's another deflection for Banks. Third and ten, and Josh Allen has a wide open receiver on a slant open for the first down. Then on second and four, he sees me coming off the edge, so he scrambles off to the other side of the field, throwing a dot to Stephon Diggs. Now they're starting to cook up a little bit. Third and two, they running the ball to the opposite side of me, and Dexter Lawrence missed that tackle. That was a big tackle. He has to be able to make that. They made a mistake trying to run the ball to my side. This is why teams don't run over here. They run over there because every time they come over here, I'm block shedding and getting a tackle for loss. Them boys doubled down on it. They ran it again. I'm block shedding and getting back there, making another big tackle. Third and 11, they're passing the ball, and Josh Allen finds his receiver Hardy open for a touchdown, tying the game up. All right, offense has failed us. It's a tie game. We had to get this stop. I'm getting double team, getting off the double team, and chasing him down for a big sack. Now it's third and 24, so they're running the ball, and I'm hitting that running back, trying to get a fumble, but couldn't get it. Offense was not able to score, so they got the ball. They're just running the ball to just take the clock out. I guess we're going to OT then. And luckily for OT, we end up winning the coin toss. So, of course, we're going to decide to receive offense. We just need y'all to go ahead and score get this game over with. Of course, offense did not score with a chance. But here on third down, we're locking up, making a big tackle. Fourth down, I don't think they're going to go for it. They wouldn't risk it. Didn't matter, though, because offense went down the field and got a clutch field goal to win the game. I went crazy in this game again. Nine tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, and a pick six. I'm him. We're having a very dominant season right now, and coming into this game as commanders, we're trying to do the exact same thing, and I'm getting a big sack. Now on third and 12, and there's a receiver open on the curl route for the first down, but this quarterback just completely inaccurately threw that ball. That was a first down. I can see this is going to be another defensive game, as offense is probably not going to be able to score too much, and they not going to be able to move too much either. Deontay Banks with another deflection. I don't understand why teams ever try to run any type of screenplay on us because they just do not work. I was reading that, but I ended up getting blocked. Teammates came through, though, still got the tackle. Third down. They decided to come out in a five wide on third down. I can't come off the line, and he's throwing his dots his tight end for the first down. First and ten. Pressure coming in pretty strong. Dex coming off and Kayvon. He got to scramble out to the left side and throw this ball out of bounds. Second and 10, only three of us pass rushing right now, so he has a little bit of time, but Dexter Lawrence came off of the block of the double team, forced him to throw an incomplete pass. Third and 10, and nobody blocked me, which I wasn't expecting. I had to get past the running back. We're trying to chase down the quarterback, and he's throwing that, but that's a pretty good pass, getting the first down. On third down, they're doing a screen play. I know it's a screen play. I'm trying to get to the ball, but for some reason, I ended up being in a animation where I was in a pass rush. I was not trying to do that. I was trying to catch that pick. 
Got them to a fourth and two, and they decided to go for it. And they easily get this with a little drag, slant, whatever, getting the first down. Then on first and ten, the quarterback's going to find a receiver in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Second and 10, it's a tie game now, and I'm trying to get past this old tackle by a So I'm coming out in the coverage, trying to hurry up and get to the flats. They catch the ball's third down now. Ain't gonna lie, this right tackle has been guarding me a little bit too well in this game. I'm coming off the edge this time with a little swim move and getting a big sack. Offense is starting to score now, and on third and seven, I'm coming off the edge with a swim move, trying to get to the quarterback, and he's throwing a ball, th running left, throwing a ball, and of course, it's inaccurate, going straight to Xavier McKinney. Now we're up 21 to seven on second and nine. I'm coming off a double team, and he has to throw this ball. It's incomplete. He was just trying not to get sacked. Now on third and nine, our defensive backs are just playing back, just letting them have the flats, and they take the flats, trying to break a tackle, but they cannot. It's a great tackle, fourth down. Now on fourth down, I'm pass rushing right now, but I come out of the pass rush to guard this little short route. But the quarterback throws it down to the middle of the field. That's a dive in between all those defenders, getting the first. They playing a little bit of no huddle. I'm bull rushing him, trying to get him to move, but he is not moving. But Kayvon Thibodeau is coming back there getting a sack. They ain't got enough time in this game to be trying to waste, so they're doing no huddle again. I'm running around the tackle this time, coming in for a big sack. But guess what? That is not it. They're hurrying up again. Third and very, very long. I'm getting past them again, getting another sack. And then one last no huddle. Fourth and super fucking long. Coming off the edge, bull rushing him. I'm trying to hit him, but I wasn't able to. And he's throwing a dot, getting the first down. I don't know how he did it. Got them to a third and three, and I'm coming off the edge again, coming in for another sack as he tried to run away from me. He's fumbling, but he picks the ball up while he's on the ground. Now we have another chance to stop them here on fourth and long, and he's trying to force his ball into two defenders, and of course, that's getting deflected. The game is over. I don't know what happened there at the end of the game, but we went 21-7. to seven. And this game was crazy, especially at the end. Four and a half sacks, five tackles for loss, six tackles. Kayvon had two sacks, and Dexter Lawrence had half of a sack. To be honest, I don't know if we lost the game or not this season, but I'm going to just say we undefeated right now. Now we're playing against the Jets, who have Zach Wilson instead of Aaron Rodgers, unfortunately. First and ten to somehow, I come unblocked about to hit Zach Wilson, but he gets that ball out fast to the receiver. It's inches. They're trying to run the ball to go ahead and get the easy first down, but Dexter Lawrence is making it a little bit harder for them to get that. Third and one, they're going up the middle. I tried to get there and get the tackle, but I was not able to get to the running back. He got the first. First and 10, inside the red zone, trying to come off the edge. I'm not able to, and Zach Wilson just completely overthrows his receiver. He was wide open. This time on second and 10, I'm speed rushing past this tackle and chasing Zach Wilson down. You are not running away from me. I'm the fastest linebacker in the league. Third and 20, I'm coming off the edge, about to get to him, but he finds Garrett Wilson on the outside for a touchdown. He was wide open. Tie game now, somehow on second and 10, I was unblocked, getting an easy sack. Now they're third and very long, trying to run the screen play. We're playing over the top, but we're still coming down, making a big tackle. where they got a punt. Now offense is taking the lead in this game, and on first and 10, Zach Wilson has Dalvin Cook wide open on the running back wheel route, getting all the way down the field. Second and 10, I'm getting past this old lineman, but then I almost got to Zach Wilson, and there's an old lineman standing right there being a bodyguard. I would have had that sack. Third and 10, I'm doing the inside swim move and almost getting there, but they're converting on third and 10. I don't know what it is with teams and not blocking me, but I easily get in there getting another sack. Four point game now, third quarter. I'm getting off the edge, chasing down Zach Wilson. He's not going to get away from me, obviously, getting the sack. Then on third and 10, I engaged with a blocker, came back out, and Zach Wilson had an open first down, but he just completely overthrew him. That's great. Up 21 to 10 now on first and 10, trying to get past the lineman, not able to, and Zach Wilson just throws a pick to Michael Carter the second. He is taking that shit to the house for six. I mean, these niggas are so locked up right now, they don't know what to do, so they're running a read option with Zach Wilson, and of course, we're on that shit. You know, second and five, Zach Wilson has a slant that he thinks is open, but Deontay Banks is on that, making the receiver drop the ball. 
third and five, and I'm getting double teamed on this play. Still getting through it with a little rip move, and I'm getting the, getting the sack, sharing it with Dex. Of 35 to 10 now, Zach Wilson is throwing a very terrible pass that's very easily picked off. This game was over a long time ago. What a blowout. We went 35 to 10. And this game was fucking crazy. Four and a half sacks, six tackles for loss, and seven tackles. Now in a week nine matchup against the Raiders, but really we only got to worry about Josh Jacobs and Devontae Adams. Everything else is locked. Second and 11, Josh Jacobs running a little outside run. Getting to the outside, we couldn't get no black shares. They're getting the first down and more. Then on first and 10, me and Dace Lawrence are both getting off our blocks, and he's hitting these shit out of the quarterback, forcing that incomplete pass. On the right side now, and I'm speed rushing past his OT, making Jimmy Garoppolo want to throw that ball out of bounds. On second and 10, I'm playing in the flats. I'm just waiting for somebody to come through. I'm trying to bait this up, but he throws the ball out of bounds instead of throwing a pick six to me. I'm going to get what I want no matter what. Third and 10, speed rush, getting a sack. Second and nine, and I see it they're running the screenplay, so I'm on it, and he does not want to throw that ball to me. I was going to take that for six. It's third and nine, and it's only three of us rushing, so honestly, I decided to come out in two covers to try to prevent the first down, and he's just throwing his pick to Xavier McKinney. With that pick, we end up scoring on first and ten. They're running the ball, and I'm just getting back there making a great tackle. On third and 12, they decided to run the ball again, and we got linebackers coming in making tackles. Second quarter coming to an end, so they're just running the ball on third down. I'm getting back there, getting a the tackle for loss. Our defense has been so good this game that we got Jimmy Garoppolo throwing the ball off of people's helmets and their backs, and that ball just falls right in our hands. This is crazy. And now at this point, he don't even know what to do. He's just throwing the ball up, just forcing picks that he shouldn't even be forcing. We'll take it, though. This game's over. Another great blowout win, 27-0. A sack, three tackles for loss, four tackles. Could have had a pick, but he didn't want to throw me the ball. All right, man, we're coming off of a week nine blowout against the Raiders, winning 27-0. And we got a big division rivalry game coming up in week 10 against the Cowboys. As currently, we have not lost a single game yet. We're 9-0, and they're 7-1. and And the craziest part about the season, I'm a rookie, and I have 22 sacks already. Second place is Khalil Mack with nine. And not only that, I have three picks on the season. Not number one, but three picks for a pass rush is kind of crazy. And not only that, I'm number one in the MVP race right now. Imagine I win the MVP as a pass rusher, but not only that, as a rookie. But now it's time to continue my MVP race against the Cowboys. First and 10, and Dak is trying to do a read option. I'm reading that shit and getting the tackle for loss. Second and 12, and I'm doing a speed rush pass this tackle, chasing down Dak, and he does a 360 throw out of bounds. Third and 12, and I'm bull rushing this tackle, trying to get to Dak, but he's throwing a dot to his tight end. We're probably going to have a problem guarding him. Then on second down, I tried to go inside, but I kind of got stuck a little bit. But look at them boys chasing him down. Third and 23. What a sack. I ain't going to lie, this right tackle cannot hold me. Speed rush again, getting the deck, and this time I'm getting my sack. Up 7 to 0 and on second and 10. Xavier McKinney is coming down, making a big tackle on that running back. Now the level, no yard. I'm on the left side of the line this time and I can't get past him. And then Dak is finding Michael Gallup open for the first down. On third and 10, I'm engaged with a blocker, but I come off of it because I see he's scrambling out there. So I tried to catch this pick and he threw it into the dirt. 7 to 3, and I'm getting double teamed on this play. And Dak damn near throws that pick. I need that DB to catch that pick. For some reason, when it comes to third downs, the Cowboys just been converting a lot of them, and he gets the ball to his best receiver, CD, for the first. First and 10, trying to come off the edge, and I end up getting double teamed by Zach Martin in that right tackle, and I'm chasing down Dag now. He throws that ball out of bounds at the perfect time. Second and 10, trying to get to the outside and get to Dag by a can, and Deontay Banks prevents the first down. Great D. Third and 10, I'm easily getting past the O-line with a speed rush, and Dak is throwing a dot to the defense. Give us that pick. We might as well go ahead and get some points before this half is over with. Up 10-3 in the third quarter, I'm getting past the O-line. His stick and Tony Pollard. I don't know how they got to this side of the field already. We must have fumbled on the kickoff. And one thing I'm a little bit confused about is when in the world did the Cowboys get Hunter Henry? I mean, he's been killing us a little bit this game. Getting the first down here first and goal now, but when did they get him? 
Now on second and goal, Dak got CD open on the slant for a touchdown, tying the game. Offense didn't score, but they're backed up, and guess who gets open again? Hunter Henry. Why is he on their team? Second and 10, I'm coming off the edge, and let me know how in the world Dak made this throw. He did a 360 turnaround throw and ended up being completed. That's crazy. First and 10, and we got a blitz being sent at them boys, and they actually end up getting there. Bobby gets a sack. Second and 20, now doing a swim move to the outside and getting in for a sack. Third and 26, and they messed up. Nobody came to block, man. I'm coming in for an easy sack. Offense finally took the lead, and now on second down, I'm basically being a QB spy here, and Dak is throwing a dot to CD. I thought he had the swap, but CD ended up catching his ball, getting down the field. First and 10, and they doing a screen play, and they actually got us. They end up getting a lot of yards off of this, almost getting the first down. It's inches. Second and inches, and Dak is finding his receiver wide open on an easy slant for the first. First and 10, and Dak is trying to go for the touchdown to tie the game up. But guess what? Xavier McKinney getting a game winning pick in the end zone. Let's go. Clutch pick from McKinney. We win this game by a touchdown. And in this game, I went crazy. Three sacks, five tackles for loss, eight tackles. Leonard Williams had a sack, and Bobby had a sack. Now, in week 11 against Commanders, this should be a way easier game. As they're trying to throw a dot for the first down, but Adore Jackson is locking that up. Second and 10. I'm going to tight end here, and I kind of bump a little bit. I know he was doing an out route, but Dexter Lawrence getting through the middle of the line to get a big sack. It's third and 23, and they decided to go for a screen, and it kind of caught us off guard a little bit, but everybody got on that shit. They ain't getting no yards off of it. And a lot, this is the most coach has ever put me in coverage for in the game, but on second down, Hey man, the pass rush is still getting there even without me. But here on third and 10, I'm pass rushing and the running back end up getting in my way. But look at all of these pass rushes getting free. Ingle P pass. When this play, they were in a read option. I really got got with it, but look at my teammates though. They did not get got with that. Second and 10, I'm coming off the edge and Sam Howell is scrambling up the middle and I'm trying to chase him, but I'm not able to get him. He almost gets the first down. They're trying to run the ball on third down, run to the other side, and them boys is getting there, getting the big stop. Fourth down. Then on second and ten, Sam Howell tried to throw this ball to his receiver for the first down, but that is tight coverage getting knocked out. Third and ten, I see the screen happening. I try to play the screen, but I got pulled back into a block, so they end up getting all the way down to fourth and one. I would have had to pick, but this game is trash. It's cool though, because we have 17 to 3, and I'm coming free, unblocked, getting an easy second. Kayvon's taking half of it. Then on second and long, I'm getting past him with a swim move and getting another sack. And that's about it for they drive right here. They third down, all the way backed up. They're trying to run the ball. We're getting that stop. They got to punt it to us. 24 to 3 now on third and 10, getting off the edge and chasing him down, getting the sack, sharing it with Kayvon. Fourth down, and I'm bull rushing this tackle, and three of us come free and hit the quarterback, and that was almost a crazy throw to a catch, but too bad it was incomplete. And we win in this game 24 to 3. This game, I had two sacks, three tackles for loss, four tackles. Kayvon had a sack, Dex had a sack. Let's go. Now in a week 12 matchup against the Patriots, I'm coming off the edge, hitting Mac Jones, and he's getting that ball down the field, and of course it's incomplete. Good D. Offense got locked up, second and 10, guarding the flats, and he dropped the ball, and I still hit him. I do not care. Third and 10, bull rushing this tackle, hitting Mac Jones, and he still delivered a dot for a first down. I don't know how he did it. And then he just had to finish the drive off. I'm trying to get off the edge, getting to the inside, and he got a dot to Juju on the sideline for a tug. Our offense is very non-existent. They're running the ball to my side. I'm hit sticking him, making him fumble, and we picking that ball up. Offense, y'all have no excuse to not score here. Get some points. That's exactly what they did. Now on second down, I'm coming off the edge and coming in for a big sack. Third and 17. Third and 17, they decided to go ahead and run the ball. We stopping that offense. Come on, y'all. Y'all can just take the lead right here. 
and they did not do that. It's second and goal, second quarter coming to an end, and they doing a screen play, almost scoring a touchdown. Third and goal, and we are stopping them on the goal line. They almost scored, but look at them guys playing defense, stopping it. They should decide to go for it here on fourth and goal, and they end up scoring this time. We're down to touchdown. Third quarter, down 14 to 10. Swim move to the outside, coming in for a sack. Second and long, I'm doing a swim move to the inside this time, and me and Kayvon is coming in and sharing the sack. Now on third and 23, I'm coming off the edge, almost getting to him, but it was a screen play, and I'm chasing him down. We making the tackle. They got to punt it. We need offense to score. Offense didn't score again. I'm bull rushing the tackle, getting another sack. Fourth down, y'all got another chance to score. We can win this game. And well, all the opportunities the offense done had to score, they just keep on not scoring. We lost this game. All those stops we got just to still lose 14 to 10. I ended this game with three and a half sacks, four tackles for loss, six tackles. Man, it's crazy. But now coming into week 14, we have to bounce back here against the Packers, especially after losing to the Patriots. Ain't no way. Our defense is immediately making plays in the first quarter. I'm getting double teamed, but Jordan Love still trying to force the ball into some way. Should not be trying to force it into And we're getting the pick. I'm out here at linebacker on first and 10. He's throwing the ball to the receiver running across the middle. I'm laying a big hit on him. Now on third and two, just watch how our defense just collapses in on that running back to prevent that first down. They decided to go for it, so they end up going for it. We got them back to it third down again. I'm getting sacked, y'all not getting no to it. They went ahead, got that three points. We only have four points because I believe our offense turned the ball over. They throwing the ball down the field, getting a big play. Then on the next play, their tight end is open, catching the ball, breaking the tackle, somehow making the other defender miss, getting the first, getting all the way to first and goal. Now we got to try to stop them from scoring here on the goal line, handing it off to that fullback. Easy touchdown. Where is he going? They've actually been keeping up in this game. I'm trying to find a way to get to Jordan Love. He's throwing the ball straight to Deontay Banks. Big pick. Our defense in this game has just been too good, and our offense been just, you know what I'm saying, doing what they need to do. We're up 24 to 10 in the fourth quarter, and they just cannot find a way to move the ball down the field. Another big play by Deontay Banks. Of course, they ain't got no choice but to go for it here on fourth down. I'm almost getting to the quarterback, but he's throwing the ball in the double coverage. Incomplete our ball. That's about game. Pretty good bounce back game after losing to the Patriots. The defense played great as a unit this game. I had one sack, a tackle for loss. Deontay Banks had a pick, some pass deflections. And Mike Edwards also in this game with a pick. And now playing against the Saints in week 15, we know this is going to be a very physical and very defensive game. So offense is going to have to just lock in real quick. Starting off this game with pretty good defense. Got him to 37, but it's a wide open receiver getting a big play to the other side of the field. That momentum swing was too much. I had to get back there, swim, move past that old lineman, hit the quarterback. He got the ball out, though. I'm actually running zone on this play, and Derek Carr tried to throw a post route, but that safety jumped it. He caught a big hit. It's going the other way. Second quarter, well, 14 to 0, and it's crazy how great this defense is playing right now. Just not letting them have anything. And I mean, we're not even letting them get a screen. Like, not even a screenplay going to work. That's incomplete. They've been trying anything they could. Passing, running. They just can't get it done. Another incomplete pass. There's less than one minute left in this half. And they're trying to help and get some points here. Because they throwing a dot down the field. Getting close to the red zone. They end up running a screenplay on third down. And they actually end up getting it. Getting to the first down. Because that linebacker tackled them and moved them in. Now they're calling a the timeout. They can go ahead and kick this field goal. A 14 to 3 in the second half. Offense actually turned the ball over. That's why they all the way down here. Speed rushing past that tackle in the easy set. On third and long, I'm in man coverage, and this was almost a completed pass, almost a great first down. But Deontay Baines is playing some good coverage there, making the receiver drop the ball. Of 21 to 3, now I'm, a, I'm just out here as a spy kind of like, and I'm going to get that quarterback when he tried to get out the pocket. Made him throw a dumb pass to Isaiah Simmons. Takes it all the way home for six. And that's my game. Now 
after that drive, I kind of felt a little pull in my hamstring a little bit, so I ended up staying out for the rest of that game. We still blew them out. And hopefully this hamstring thing ain't, ain't too much. Another great defensive game from the team. Multiple sacks, multiple picks. It's a big division rivalry game against the Eagles, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play this game due to that hamstring injury, and I really do not want to have to re-injure it before going into the playoffs. So this game, coach just told me to sit out. We still played them in week 18, and maybe we'll end up seeing them in the playoffs. So, you know what I'm saying? We still gonna, I'm still going to see them. And in our first matchup against the Eagles, we still end up winning 31-21. to Great game. Now, we haven't fully clinched the number one seed in the NFC. So, winning this game right here would literally clinch it. And that would mean I probably wouldn't end up playing in our last game against the Eagles. But if we do lose this, I'm definitely playing in that game. First drive of the game, they're trying to run the ball to my side. I guess they think my injury is still hurting me. But it ain't. I'm right there getting that tackle for life. Then on the next play, putting this old lineman on his face, getting a sack. Ain't no way we allow a third and 23 conversion. I'm almost getting that. He got to get that ball out because I was fin to get another sack. Great defense. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this drive right here, they've been building up a pretty good drive here, but I had to come from the other side of the field to make this tackle. Then on second and three, the quarterback is throwing a dot to get this first down. But all our job is here is to make sure they did all this just to kick a field goal. Almost had a sack here, throw that ball out of bounds. Go ahead and kick that field goal real quick. Second and 10 going outside and then coming right back in, almost getting to the quarterback. He's throwing his ball up, and that is picked off. Too many defenders there. Great play. Offense, go ahead and do something with that. Offense did just that. And now on third down, the end of the second quarter, getting another sack. It's the second half, and they just feel like they ain't got no fight in them at all. We're up 16-0. to They're just throwing up dumb passes, and we're playing great defense. It's like they didn't try multiple things. They just can't find what is going to work on offense. Because passing, yeah, that's just not working. They cannot score right now. And that's, they just was not able to score at all. I ended up sitting out for the rest of the game after that drive. We ended up winning 26-0. And this means that the next game against the Eagles is going to be, like, not even worth playing. So, hopefully we see them in the playoffs. I mean, just look at the games we was having. Kayvon, two sacks. Don't worry about Aaron Donald. I had two sacks. Bobby had a sack. Like, Isaiah Simmons had a sack. Like, we was just killing them. I mean, after going a whole season, we went 16 and 1 that season. So, we did not have to do the wild card. But, like I said, we're in the divisional round. And the team that we was waiting for has arrived. The Eagles, we did not, I did not get to play against them the last two games that we had, week 16 and 18. But here, you know what I'm saying? We here. Now we already know this team right here is gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dog fight in this game because we both have great defenses and our offense ain't as good as theirs, but our defense is good enough. We'll be able to keep up in this game. We're gonna be able to win. Up 7-0 already, using one arm to get that old lineman off me, chasing down Jalen Hurts. You are not running away from me. Give me that sack. Now they're trying to run the ball on second down, and guess who's there to make that tackle? It's me. I ain't gonna lie, this drive has been a, a lot a lot of me making Lane Johnson fall, chasing down Jalen Hurts, hitting him. He got the ball out though, so I ain't get the sack. But hey, fourth down, crazy drive. I mean, defense in again locked up, and the Eagles are already on our side of the field, trying to complete that pass, but it was just overthrown by Jalen Hurts. He's not a guy that's going to make the same mistake twice. This time on the out route, he's actually going to complete the pass to his tight end, getting the first. Now, we got to play bend, don't break defense right here. We got them to a third and 10. I'm trying to get off the line, but I cannot. And then they're getting the first down, put him even closer. First and goal. Once the Eagles get in that red zone, it's very hard to stop them. Running the ball with DeAndre Swift, and he just dives in there for the touchdown. All right, in our offense, y'all cannot get to selling us. They turned the ball over, and the Eagles already are in scoring position. We got to try to do our best and try to create a turnover. 
They're running five out. This is our perfect chance to get up in there. We getting a sack, hitting him two times. He fumbled, but they picked the ball up, man. That was the turnover we needed, but they finna get a field goal here. They got the field goal, but offense made up for their mistakes and scored a touch, so we're up by four points. Jalen Hurts is throwing a dot. Deontay Banks unfortunately got beat on that play. Now they really starting to drive, getting the ball to A.J. Brown once again, getting the first down. Second and inches in, it's a wide open guy to get this first down, getting the first and goal. And now they're trying to call a timeout here to probably kick the field goal. Now we should have known they wouldn't kick no field goal. They actually end up going for the fake field goal and they got the touchdown. But our offense went down there and scored too, so we're still up. Just watch how Leonard Williams just bullies that old lineman to get this sack. He's just a monster, boy. I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy. Now on third and long, we gotta go ahead and finish this job and I'm getting a sack. Fourth quarter, we're still up four points and on third and seven, Jalen Hurts decided to go ahead and run the ball, but he ends up getting hit, fumbling, and then we're picking that ball up. It's perfect. Now we got a pretty comfortable lead and Jalen Hurts is giving the ball right back to us. Big pick, man. This game is over. We're going to the car. Like I said, this game is over. Them turnovers at the end of the game really costed them. And just look at the stats. Three and a half sacks on the Eagles, man. People was waiting to see me against the Eagles. And there you go. Who would have had thought in the conference championship we're seeing the Cowboys, another division rival, it's going to be a very big game. There's no way we allow the Cowboys to go to the Super Bowl because it might be a chance they can win it. We can't let that happen. It's really not looking good for the Cowboys right now. They're all the way backed up, but then they run the ball and just look at the blocks and people missing tackles. And I don't even know what just happened, but they got a big game. While they was backed up, we thought we had them. We got to play some defense. Now on third down, for some reason, there was a linebacker guarding Michael Gallup, and he got an easy first down getting to the one-yard line. They only need one yard to get this touchdown, but on second and goal, they fake snapped it and end up getting a false start, so they're going back five yards. And that was big for us, because now on third and goal, they got to find a way to put that ball in the end zone, and Dak just couldn't find a way. That's tight coverage, great defense, kick that field goal. And after that defensive drive, the Cowboys ended up getting the ball back on this side of the field because the offense turned the ball over. But that boy Dexter Lawrence did destroy that offense and get that sack. Look like this game, our red zone defense has been just like amazing. We do not want to lose this game at all. Kayvon getting that sack when Dak tried to scramble outside the pocket. He setting that edge. Big sack. Pause. There's been a whole lot of defense going on. It's the third quarter. We still haven't scored yet. It looks like offense don't want to go to the Super Bowl. Down 6-0. We got to lock up again. We are in need of a very big play on third down. Getting off that edge. About to hit Dak, but he throws the ball. And it went straight to a defender. That's a big pick. All right, man, offense then finally scored. We're up 7-6. to six. It's crazy the defense that's being played on both sides of this game. We just got to come out on top and play better defense. Offense got to do something. Third and 20, that boy Dexter Lawrence is feeling it. Getting past that O-lineman again. And just look at him as he gets to that quarterback. He is proud. Their offense go now up 14-6. to six. I'm coming off the edge, chasing that boy Dak down. I missed the tackle, but Kayvon finished it. I was trying to strip him. Probably shouldn't have done that. Fourth down now, and I'm getting double teamed. I'm trying to find a way to get the deck, but I cannot. He's throwing the ball, getting a first down. That was just a die. Then on second down, no huddle, throwing his ball to his best receiver. In between that coverage, dot to CD land for the tug. Now they got to go for two. They got the two. Offense did nothing with it, so we had to lock up here. We cannot allow them to get the field goal because the game probably going to be over at that point. Our best bet here is trying to get to overtime or creating a turnover, and that's what I'm banking on, getting that sack third and 17. They call the timeout. Now they're running the ball because they want to go ahead and just use all the time up so we can go to OT so they can have a chance there. You know it's the score first one to stop scoring or whatever thing. I guess we're going to OT then. We're going to win this game. We got to keep on putting that pressure on Dak. And just look at how we get there. Leonard Williams finds the way, dives at him. He's throwing the ball out of bounds. Right when we thought we had him where we wanted them on third and 10, Dak throws a dot to their tight end, making a great catch for the first down. That's a big play. 
But all that was for this moment right here. I'm in coverage, and that boy Bobby jumps the route. He tried to throw it in between our zones. Not gonna happen. And look at how he found a way to make this six in the game. Man, what a game. Winning this game in OT with a pick six from Bobby. Come on, man. We're going to the bowl. Crazy games from all the guys, but that boy Bobby in OT, he was clutch for that. I probably could have had it if he didn't catch it, but, hey, man, if he wouldn't have caught it, I, I wouldn't have taken that for six, man. Let's go to the bowl. The moment we have been waiting for, we are in the Super Bowl. Daniel Jones in the Super Bowl. This is kind of crazy. Playing against the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. We got a fast quarterback we got to worry about. Great tight end. Great defense versus great defense. It's going to be a great Super Bowl. Ravens already showing us what they're trying to do in this game. Breaking this game off with a big run. Great blocks. And luckily that safety got there in time before that was any worse than what it was. Then on 31, Lamar finds his playmaker, Zay Flowers, down the field. He just burnt that DB for the touchdown. Offense was able to get a field goal, but that's cool, though. We got to get stopped here right now. They're trying to run the ball on third and two, and we somehow found a way to make that tackle. That boy, Dexter Lawrence, it's a great tackle. Fourth and one. Offense was not able to score, but that's cool, though, because on defense, we have been making plays. What a pick jumping that route to get the ball back to the offense. Go get some points this time. And that's exactly what they did up 10-7. to 7. And look at Bobby getting in there with a great blitz getting the sack. Lamar does a great job of staying composed, though, getting this closer to the first down to make it a little easier for them. Then on third and four, I'm pass rushing, but I came out because I see he trying to scramble outside the pocket. I'm making that tackle to prevent the first down. They'll probably still go for it here, but, hey, man, fourth down, though. And, of course, why would they not go for it? They run the ball getting great blocks, getting the first down easily. They done fought their way all the way up the field just for this moment, throwing the ball to Rashad Bateman for a touch. Offense responded well, though, and on second and 10, I'm getting in there, getting a big tackle for loss as soon as he handed that ball off. On third and 15, the DBs are playing amazing defense. Lamar has to scramble outside the pocket. He can't find nobody to throw the ball to, throwing the ball out of bounds. Up 20 to 14 in the fourth quarter, this is still a losable game, but not when you're throwing the ball like this straight to the linebacker for the pick. Easy. Man, that man Bobby been balling this playoff. Offense got a field goal, so we're up nine points on first and ten. Lamar throwing the ball down the field because they need a big play, and they're getting just that. Crazy contested catch. They so thirsty for that big play there on third down. I'm almost getting to him, but he's throwing the ball directly to the DB. Another big. Come on, man. This game is about over. And with that, we beat the Ravens 23-14 to in the Super Bowl. Give me that ring. Y'all know who's gonna win that Super Bowl MVP. 130 yards and two tuds for Saquon. Oh my. And on defense, we had multiple sacks, multiple picks, but that boy Bobby went crazy. One and a half sacks and a pick? That boy was doing his thing. I ain't get a sack this game, but my presence was definitely felt. And as you can see, Saquon did win that Super Bowl MVP. I won MVP as an outside linebacker. Obviously, won defensive player and defensive rookie of the year, too. I mean, just look at the numbers. Like, I had to win the MVP. That's that's crazy. 36 sacks is crazy. And I mean, three picks too, but you know, 36 sacks is crazy. Y'all think I'm going to be able to replicate that in the second season? 
And what y'all think about a back-to-back Super Bowl? 